good morning everybody and welcome back to another vlog um not gonna lie i feel very rusty in vlogging and lots of stuff has been happening just putting on this clinique spf today because the sun has come out and maybe that's been one of the reasons why i've wanted to vlog we've had the worst weather here in the uk the summer's not been great and um apparently i think it's due to all these forest fires that are happening in europe in greece there's a lot of extreme heat and forest fires and my boyfriend tells me that that has an impact on us like we, it's been so cloudy i mean it's been humid but just gray crap cloudy raining and um yeah today is sunshine um i've already had a bit of a morning let's put it that way i'm actually going to use the maybelline superstay 24 skin tint been loving this it's a little bit darker than my skin which is actually great because my body's a bit darker than my face um but it's just very dewy that's probably not the way to apply it but super dewy gives me that bit of color like gorgeous base so i'm just gonna put that on um i already up this morning super early i actually had my smear test today fun times um so i went along for that <sighs> obviously it's been a long hot minute since i've had my smear test it was before the pandemic in 2019 apparently um and it was just different a different experience i still highly recommend everyone who's a woman who has a cervix to go and get tested because you do not want to get cancer um and this can just help prevent risk of it um but the experience was different my first experience was very easy glided in very well this one we had to use three different types of instruments and we found the perfect one that actually fit um i think she put in one that was actually quite thick <laughs> let's put it that way but short couldn't find it so she needed and then we tried a thin short couldn't find it couldn't find my cervix which apparently moves around it's a muscle that's never in the same place at the same time um same place same time same place all the time is that the right word correction um and in the end we went for a narrow but longer one and we found my cervix and it was over done but that's my morning i haven't even had coffee yet but i've had my cervix done so I'm just gonna go for a very light coverage today. Um, I've got some errands I need to run and I wanted to vlog because I haven't spoken to you guys. I have the house to myself. My boyfriend is away currently. This week is gonna be the most busiest week I've ever had. I've got meetings tomorrow. I have errands to run. I have packing to do. We are going away for three weeks to france and i haven't packed a single thing fun times so there will be a packing video and potentially in this vlog kind of just picking up bits for my holiday um and i also just want to sit down and have a good old catch up because i feel like my life there's so many things going on and it's tearing me away from youtube and social media in general i actually it's bittersweet this holiday and i will tell you why but the sweet part is that just getting away that's all i feel like i need a break i feel like i just need some time i need a different setting so to speak but i need to go into town i've got some returns i need to do I want to have a look into Primark. I have a bunch of things from Primark that actually need to be returned. I'm just going to put a little bit of blush today. Why not? Why not? This is the Rare Beauty Blush. I'm just going to 
pat it in. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury, the Super Nudes palette. been loving this. It's all that I've been wearing recently. It's just, it's just a game changer. I'm just going to go for the lightest shade that I have. I'm just going to sweep it over the eyes. And what else? I'm also considering going to get my hair done potentially. So I'm going to go in to my local headmasters. That is where I love to go and get my hair done. Um, and I was going to try and get booked in with my hair stylist, Diane. But I think he's unavailable. But they do have a sale on at the moment for the month of August. And I thought I might take full advantage of the 40% of colour sale. I'm going to go in, see what available availabilities that they have, maybe speak to someone because they obviously don't know my hair like I do or like Dayan does and I just want them to kind of see potentially what they can do. I've got a bit of regrowth not looking very nice i do need a hair cut i've not had my hair cut in months and you're meant to get it done like every six or so weeks and i'd like to be quite religious with that um i really like to look after my hair so i need the full works before i go on this holiday mascara i am using i feel like you guys are so high and I'm so low. Let's have a look. Change you guys around. A bit better. Maybe that's a bit better. Um, I also need to clean, organise. I mean, there's just so much, guys. My life is a bit of a mess. And I've only got... <sighs> potentially only three days to do it. Sorry if this vlog gives you anxiety. Um... It's not the intention. I'm just like talking through my feelings. And yeah, I don't mean to be giving you guys anxiety over all the shit that needs to be done in three days. So yeah, because Thursday I am going to be... What am I doing on Thursday? Thursday I am going to be going up to Norfolk. Um... It is my boyfriend's brother's birthday and there's like arranged a nice little dinner. <sighs> to be honest, don't really want to go. And it's because I'm in this... I'm just not in the right headspace to be with other people right now. And to be I don't know I just don't feel like I'm in a happy spirit you guys I don't know like I feel like I talk to you guys and it's just you guys must think spice lip liner just gonna go over you guys must think like I'm happy I do put on a bit of a persona otherwise you guys would probably not find me interesting uh, although my sister always says that I am funny but I feel like when there's someone that you can bounce off of you know your personality can shine when it's just me on my own talking to a camera um, it's so hard to get personality across and so therefore I really have to push myself that's, so that's when I say like it's put on I feel like I really have to make that and just really pretend like the camera is a person um clinique lip liner in the shade i think this is like rose oh intense blush this is their um lip intense lip liner it really is long wearing so i like to wear this just on top and kind of mix the two and kind of mix the two liners together and that's all i'm going to do for my lips maybe some gloss maybe not but that is my look for at the moment so yeah i don't know if i'm gonna go up um basically we're gonna go up for i need to go up my boyfriend's already there so i'll need to go up on the train then we come back the next day that day we drive back it's like a three to four hour drive 
and then the following day which will be the saturday is when we do our big drive to france again i can talk more about that at another time like our travel plans and etc um so that's that's me kind of in a nutshell i am now gonna start packing up my returns and just head into town grab a coffee i feel like i really want to treat myself to a coffee and i also feel like i should just sort of walk to my local shopping center instead of getting on a bus so that could be like my little bit of exercise yeah okay um i will catch up with you guys once i figure out what i'm doing with my life right i am out of the house decided to make my own coffee because i'm trying to save some coin and first stop i am gonna go to primark and do some returns now i'm gonna need to do some food shopping so might pop into waitrose and pick up some bits to cook um yeah cooking and getting ingredients for one is just so much harder than the two so yeah i'll catch up with you guys on the other side <laughs> primark before I start to get to work show you the bits that I got while I was away I do I realized that I actually have some more bits from Primark that you guys haven't seen so I'm contemplating whether to do another separate Primark haul my battery is flashing so I'm gonna have to be quick I do apologize and I've also got my cup of tea I love this mug it's me and my little baby boy who at the moment isn't here, he's with relatives because my boyfriend isn't here, there's no one to look after him because I'm out and I just don't want him to be, just don't want him to be home alone. Right, first bits are from, let's do, okay, let's do Oliver Bonus. So I saw these, they were in the sale, they were 35 down to £13.50 and I just thought they were like the most cutest, thing so they are are these placemats or napkins no they are they are placemats but they could also be used as napkins i feel like because they are quite thin but i really love the details on them the embroidery i love the colors i just thought an absolute bargain for four i do get four in here don't i yeah one two three four yeah i get four in here for 13 pounds 50 i just thought cannot go wrong huge bargain i mean i think that's like half price is it half price or less i think it's like 75 percent off the retail so i grabbed those this i got it was the last one there it's six pound 50 um originally nine pound 50 it's just a cute body brush i actually do have a body brush but it's just so big and i just thought oh my god it feels so good against the skin um i just wanted something that just looks a little bit cuter and lovely um obviously content creation is my job so just thought if i ever needed something that's a little bit cuter to create content then this is it i just need to take a quick sip of tea mm -mm -mm -mm. and then finally 
from Oliver Bonus. I got this, they wrapped it up so well. I could not leave this behind. It was just, it was just too pretty. I do actually have a bar cart to put this on and it's gold. Um, this was 15 pounds, I believe. And um, it is this glass cocktail shaker. How beautiful and chic is that? The detail for 15 pounds, I just could not, again, leave this behind. I think it was like 30 something pounds reduced to 50. So I bought that. I feel like in accessories, I did go a little bit, a bit much. But first, I got this. It was 70% off, so it was £13.50. It is this cute hat fascinator in this beautiful shade of green. I have no plans on going... Well, I do actually have a wedding in Ireland. Um, and I just thought green would be perfect. But I also think stuff like this is so expensive. It's great when you see them to just pick them up. So this was originally £45 huge saving to £13.50 and I just thought let me grab it keep it I actually do need to buy like a hat box because I've got another fascinator to protect and when the occasion arises then I've got something in my repertoire to bring out I definitely next year want to go to more like races um like polo stuff like that so I'm manifesting by getting this next up i thought these were an absolute bargain they are a size eight i'm a six but they fit like they don't look too big on me these were 19 19 pound 50 doesn't tell you the original price but they were probably like 45 pounds or something like that because that's usually the price of these sorts of things in accessorize and i'm going on holiday soon and i thought these would just look so lovely in the evenings. Um, we're going to have a lot more like low casual dinners. Um, but I still want to look nice. So I thought these would go with like any outfit without going a dress up. Now this I bought, I thought it was just a pouch. Now I know it says it has a ring on it. The lighting is um, just so stunning and beautiful. And then it has a bride here. So potentially might keep this for myself on my future wedding day or if i know there's a bride coming up i might just do like a nice little like cute bag like gifting bag thing but i could not leave that behind for five pound 40 i need to double check if i actually got charged three pounds or 540 because there's a three pound sticker there so yeah let me double check that um also I picked up these they were like five pounds something these were originally 17 pounds reduced to five pounds love again these are from accessorize let me just close that curtain sorry guys the sun is shining that is so much better um i'm in a new setup in my living room so not a setup i've just put you guys on a radiator um but I just love the detail. I love how just like big they are. And I love the aviator style. I love this shade of brown. Could not leave these behind for five pounds. And when you go on holiday, like the beach and stuff, you want a pair of nice sunglasses, but you don't want something that's going to get ruined on the sand or in the seawater, which has happened to me so many times. So I picked up those. And then finally from Accessorize, a bit of a random one, but I want this for my coffee table. Is this like scalloped wooden tray it's just it was so lovely um it was the last one there hey guys i am back and had to charge my camera and move slightly because now the sun is like beaming in but um yeah i've just been doing some work and i just wanted to quickly finish off showing you these bits that i've got and then i also got just some really cute like huggy earrings I think they just look so nice and then this is like a single one and i just thought that would be so nice for like a bit of stacking etc like just something a bit different um because the third ones that i've recently got pierced is slowly healing um basically i am allergic to like if it's not gold i'm allergic to it um these are okay i can wear these in my ears for a longer period of time because they are gold plated but like there's certain ones like these ones i don't know if you can see 
this one here where my finger is um my mum actually got me them from morocco and they're gold and i can sleep in them um i always tend to put these on when i've just pierced my ears because my ears my ears will never heal with the ones that they give me so i'll like put the ones that they've given me in my ears for a few weeks and then afterwards i'll change them into this and then my ear just like heels up anyway i feel like i'm going such on a rant i'm so sorry so that's everything from accessorize and then primark i just thought i might as well show you because it's not a lot of stuff um i just got these drawer organizers for four pound fifty if you would have seen my previous primark haul i got a bunch of these really nice linen kind of effect um drawer organizers and i just got this different style you can see that the other ones are like bigger um but this one's more individual kind of like the ikea ones but they just look a bit nicer so i got those i got this hat because not that i need any hats but it was only three pounds it was reduced to three pounds and i actually don't have a black um like fedora and i kind of like the trim of it and i just thought it's like super cute it actually sits really nicely i saw some other hats and accessorize and i thought oh if they're better like quality which they kind of were um that i would return this one and get that and get the ones that I accessorized but they just sat on my head really funny but i feel like this one sits on my head really nicely and i feel like the little frilly bits gives it that summer edge versus it may, maybe looking a bit wintry i don't know but i got that and then another thing which was reduced i mean it is a size 16 um and i'm a size 12 but they were five pounds and they're just like this I mean are they linen I don't, what's this oh no they're cotton um it's kind of like crinkled well you can see it in there in the sun crinkled cotton shorts easy to slip on i thought when i'm like swimming you know something to throw on like on like on your over your um can't speak today something to throw on over your swimming costume and if you need to go to the the bar or something i thought these would be great for holiday also like evenings where i just want it a little bit casual but just something to throw on i thought these would be good and because they've got, got that crinkled effect like you can really scrunch them up and they don't look creased or anything because it's meant to be that effect and then something really boring oh something else i wanted to mention went into primark it is full-on autumn mode they had all the autumn stuff out they had jumpers knitwear I was like hold on we haven't even had a summer yet in the uk like only now it's starting to get really lovely and they're just trying to like take it away from us and push us into autumn so i did pick up these tights because i go through them like crazy and when the season actually does come around these are so hard to find because they're always out of stock and they're four pounds for five pairs so i had to grab them and then lastly yep yeah, this is lastly i just got these are like one of my apart from my friend's brand serena days i love the primark pajamas they are just really good affordable i love these kind of cobalt 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 blue <laughs> um and I, I love like the Oxford shirt style pyjamas. And these were half price, I think. It says 13. I think I got them for seven. Seven pounds. And this one's a short. Let's see. Did I get it for seven? Yeah, I got them for seven. Um, it's like, so they're kind of good for summer. Um, shorts and a little Oxford oxford shirt style um i am starting to like wear nice pajamas when i'm at home and get rid of all my ugly tap and recycle them so yeah that is everything i feel like i've been dogging forever um i now need to pack all of that stuff away i also need to go and do some food shopping and oh my god my legs ow 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 i need to sit down <laughs> um yeah so i actually need to go food shopping i've got nothing for dinner there's actually nothing in the house um i'm just kind of buying day by day because i'm going up to norfolk on thursday and i might be back till friday night so we'll probably get a takeaway then and then we're off for two hour jolly holidays so there's just no point in me buying stuff for longer than a day back from 
going for my shopping trip. So I went to the hairdresser, it's near me. And, oh God, you guys are wobbly, hold on. Yeah, so I went to the hairdressers near me. This is not the one I usually go to. Um, I usually visit the headmasters in Putney. But for the sake of convenience down the road, I thought I would go there. And I walked in just because I wanted to have a little quick chat about my hair, what I need to book in, etc. And there was like one woman there who was like serving, fair enough. And so was another lady on the shop floor um like doing someone's hair so fair enough they didn't come over and like greet me or anything but like, i was standing around and waiting and waiting and those stylists didn't acknowledge me they didn't say i'll just can you just wait five minutes and i'll grab someone for you nothing maybe they were severely understaffed and they just didn't want to take their focus away from their clients but the one that was literally i was here and she was just like over there so close she could have just like give me an eye signal or something and she didn't which i just i thought was so Ugh. anyway so i'm gonna go back to putney i rather like go there usually my boyfriend will drop me and it's like no distance at all in the car but um to be fair i mean i could just jump on the train it's like two stops so i think i'm gonna go back there <laughs> where like they're lovely, they know me, and they just know my hair as well, that they've got a full history. I think they can share details from one salon to another, but they just know me over there, so I'm gonna go there. And then I went to m and and I stocked up on snacks. Guys, I know I'm meant to be on like this health journey, but stuff are happening in my life, and I just need the food and so i saw these beef burger spring rolls and i just had to buy them and try them it has that like burger sauce and i also fancy tonight since i'm home alone i really fancy the chinese but i'm trying to save money um and then i thought you know what i'm just gonna go to the like the pre-made section in m s and i thought let me just see what they have and one of my favorite dishes and i've never seen this before is the crispy chili beef it is my order every single time we order from a chinese love the crispy chili beef and they actually had it and i was like okay fine i'm gonna try the takeaway version from m s so i've got the crispy chili beef i got the sticky chili chicken i mean this is a main these are two main dishes but you know with the chinese you don't want just like the one thing and this is why being a person of one it's so difficult so i'm gonna half these and have like variety and whatever i don't finish i can have tomorrow and then i got the rice and funny enough it was reduced to one pound 55 and i thought let me just get it um it needs to be eaten today and i'm all about not wasting food so this has peas eggs and leeks sounds all good i also i've oh, got myself a rubicon because i'm just just fancied it it's such a summer drink for me Oh my god, this is my favourite. Got the guava flavour. You don't know about the guava. Guys, I'm missing out. Mm, mm, mm. Love that. I was just craving it. I didn't get this in MS. I got this in the. I had to post something and I got it in the sweet shop. And then I got. Birthday, I love birthday cake flavor. Like, I will always get that when me and my boyfriend get hog and dance, but he doesn't like it, so he's gonna get, get his own one. And then I saw this in MS and they have their own version, but this is the lower calorie version. Not gonna lie, when I picked it up, it's so light, but it's a full tub, it's a 500 gram. And um, I picked up another regular ice cream when it's a 500 gram, but it definitely felt more weighty to it. So, I just love birthday cake flavor it's just so uh, me so that's gonna go in the freezer maybe i might treat myself who knows um but yeah i i'm all by myself in this house no princey no boyfriend so i'm gonna treat myself first is first i'm gonna put the oven on is on and i'll let you guys know how the food gets on time to put these in the oven hopefully these will 
and not catch on fire. And there we go. Okay, I'm nearing the finish line. So just put the sauce over the sweet chili beef. That goes in for another, oh. So that goes in for another four minutes. And these are the chicken bites, which now I need to do the sauce for. Get a very generous amount of sauce, which I have to say, which is good. Decanted it in this little cute heart, heart bar, if you can see. Um, would I say it's the same as the Chinese, the sauce? No, but it's not bad. It's not bad. There is a lot of sauce in here. I'm just gonna do a little quick test with you guys. These are really good. Mm. Nice and crispy. Just waiting for the crispy chili beef before I can plate everything up. Okay guys, so this is it. Um, the presentation isn't great, but it's just me here, so. Yeah, this sauce is pretty good. It's basically like that sauce, but just a bit spicier. And the rice is so-so. I mean, it's okay, but I'm not a big fan of rice anyway. But I think everything together, it will just taste really nice. So I'm going to tuck into this, watch a series. I'm currently watching Becoming Elizabeth. I'm such a nerd, I know. I love, like, historical dramas. And, yeah, bon appetit if you guys are eating too. Oh gosh, right. Have I got oh no, I actually have sauce on my chin. <laughs> ah, so finished my dinner. Didn't really like it to be honest. It was okay, it just hasn't satisfied the Chinese food craving that I'm after. It was just very the sauce was a lot. Let's put it that way. Like both sauces were basically the same. Um, and I just ended up not really eating the chicken, had all the beef, and then tomorrow I might just have the chicken, like, dunk as, like, a little nibble on the side tomorrow, but, yeah, it's very filling. I am full. Now I'm going to just settle in for the night, even though it's still bright outside. I think it's the time. It's ten past seven in the evening. Um... I actually feel shattered like I just want to wind down I've been up super early the past like four days so and tomorrow I need to wake up early as well oh, gosh I was like I'm gonna have an a lay in tomorrow but actually tomorrow I have to wake up early I have a morning breakfast thing with Kiko I have to be there at 9 a.m which means I need to be up at, okay up at seven not too bad but I want to get there early just because it's just carnage trying to get to um, Oxford Street. So, yeah, I'll say goodnight, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow morning when we head off to Kiko. Good night.